everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine. And in today's Inkscape video, we're going to be talking about fill and stroke. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see on my screen right here, I did upload an image, an SV, SVG image that I already had of a beach. So I'm gonna just play around with the fill and stroke for you. So I'm gonna go up to object, fill and stroke, and it's gonna pop up with this box somewhere on your screen. And just let's say we don't want to have a fill color on this. We just want the outline color, uh, the stroke color instead. So we're going to select fill and put no paint. And now that as you can see, it has no paint. It just has the stroke color to it. So if we wanted to change that stroke color, we can go to stroke paint right here and select a color down below here. Most of the time, I usually select my colors down below on the toolbar right here. And I use red for my cut lines for Glowforge. You can choose whatever color you want. But anyway, if you wanna choose a color down here, all you would have to do is right click and set stroke and that will set the stroke line color. And if you want to change the thickness of these stroke lines, you can do that as well. So we'll go back up to our box up here and go to stroke style. And I only mess around with the width right here and I use it in millimeters. So for instance, if you are creating a digital file for somebody, for a customer, and let's just say the stroke colors or the stroke lines are very faint. As you can see right here, you may still be able to see it, but it's not very visually pleasing. So I want to make that darker just because I can't see it very well. So I'm gonna play around with it by selecting the width right here and increasing the width in millimeters. And that's when you can um, change the thickness of your stroke. Now this shouldn't mess around with the cutting settings on your glow forge or anything like that. It just um, makes a thicker width of your stroke lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it right around here. And now if I were to save this and upload it to my Glowforge app, then I would be able to tell my Glowforge that I want this cut. So everything in here would be cut as far as the red goes, or I could score it as well. But if I wanted to engrave something and I wanted to have it filled in instead of having the outlines, I wanted the image filled, then we're gonna go back and go to stroke paint and select no, no color. And we're gonna go back up to fill and select flat color right here. And that just makes it back to where we started. It, it fills in the image. And I personally use pink for my engraving. So I would normally just go down here to the toolbar, right click and set fill for my pink. That's just the color I use. So now when I save this and upload it to my Glowforge app, it will go ahead and allow me to engrave it and I'll be able to see it how it is right now. Now let's just say you want to change this sun so that the whole sun is engraved and not just the outer edge of it. Well, there is a way you can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of this fill and stroke and I'll zoom in a little bit more. So, now I can edit the sun a little bit so that it's all engraved. So I'm gonna to go to the left-hand side right here and select edit paths by nodes. This is the node selection tool. And then I'm gonna select my sun. And as you can see, all these little uh, square nodes pop up. And this is where you can actually drag these nodes and edit them and um, place them kind of where you want them or delete them. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and delete some. So I'm going to, hold down and drag my mouse and select each one of the nodes that I want deleted, or you can simply just click on the node itself. And I'm gonna also hold down my shift button while I click each node that I want selected so that they're all selected at once. So as you can see, they're all selected, the four that I wanted selected, and I'm gonna go ahead and click backspace or delete. And it deletes those nodes which makes my sun a full sun and not just the outer edge of it. So now if I were to go ahead and uh, engrave this, it would engrave the whole sun, not just the outer edge. So that's just a couple of things that you can do with fill and stroke. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have questions, please feel free to let me know. 
And if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code that's in the description box below uh, where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which my family and I always appreciate. And if you're interested in joining our new Facebook group, please take a look at that as well. It's called Students of the Forge, where we share helpful tips and ideas. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.